Alrighty, so, last time, we got all of the pieces of the Song of the Hero from all of the dragons in all of the provinces. And that's a lot of alls, but we're still not done with this song yet, because we need to use it to find the trial that will lead us to the Triforce. So that's going to be our next stop. I was also looking for a new crystal ball for the seer, but that kind of fell through. We didn't get anything for him, unfortunately. Oh well. Before I leave, let me go check over here at the like giant goddess statue because something tells me it's kind of significant when you factor in the whole like oh the goddess made the triforce and stuff and you know stuff like that usually it is pretty significant i wouldn't be surprised if the triforce is just hidden here it was here the whole time wow oh you're right yeah, if I, uh, he's a metal detector now. Well, she has been. But yeah, she'll definitely lead us to the next trial. Strangely enough, I... Like, I'm just not very attached to Fi. Like, at all. Oh, I think that's our bird over there in the distance. Good to know he, you know, he exists outside of when he's giving us a ride. But yeah, I, I like, I have like no feelings for Fi whatsoever. Well, I say strangely because, because like, you know, with all the past Zelda, like, companions, I've kind of like, you know, developed a soft spot for them. Like, Tattle, Navi, Midna. It's like, oh, they're my friend, right? But with Fi, it's like, who cares? There's even literal robots that are less robotic than her. And I have more feelings for. Like, the, the little carrier robot? He's cool, he's my buddy. I like him. But Fi is just like, she's like a smartphone, you know, <laughs> she's just like, whatever. Hey, Meeps, how's it going? Yeah, it's just a sword. I mean, she is a sword, but that doesn't mean she has to be, like, so, so rough, so stale. I don't know what other word to, to describe, but, like, whatever. Hey, Hollow, how's it going? How's your week? How was all of your guys' week? Uh-huh, she doesn't like Pokemon. I haven't encountered anyone, really, who genuinely doesn't like Pokemon. No, I don't think your sister really exists. It's a facade, a fragment of your imagination. Oh, here it is. It was here the whole time. Yeah, 
Yeah, that that's like implying that girls exist to begin with. Catch you. And you. I said... And you. And where's the last one? And you. Don't worry. You'll be with your buddies soon. Get back here. Where are you going? Where'd it go? It's gonna sneak attack me for six times damage. Tricky. Oh well, you win this round. That's kind of weird, Hollow. I don't like that. Where's my, uh... My magical harp? Play the song. Beep. There we go. I was pressing the wrong button. Hey, nice. That's pretty fabulous, Meeps. I'm not really sure what you mean by that. I think it uses Gen 8 logic. Why would it go back? That doesn't seem, well, logical, you know. Probably do. Because it would be weird, like, if for the Gen 3 remakes they went back to the Gen 3 move logic without having a phys physical special split or something. So I would assume that they did. just do that. See, the thing with Navi is that I still felt sad when I saw her leave at the Temple of Time. I'm still like, oh, there goes Navi. And I feel like I'm not gonna get any of that with Fi. Yeah, Navi left. Like, at the end of Ocarina of Time, she's like, I... I'm gonna head out. See ya. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I mean, she kind of does nothing but be a little bit of annoying, but still, I don't know, I feel attached to her. Oh, whoops. Let's 
try that again. Whee! <laughs> Navi would have saved me. She would have, like, grabbed my foot and, like, pulled me back up onto the ledge. And then Tattle would have just laughed at me. Yeah, for sure. Like, I, I like, 1,000% prefer... Uh, prefer Tattle over Navi, but I... What I'm saying is that I'm still, like... I'm still attached to Navi. Uh-oh! Hey, Carl. How's it going? Let's see, what did we do last time in Bowser's Inside Story? Um, we worked out. We got fit. We were on fire, literally. And then, uh, we went to some underground chambers. Did some stuff there. Um... Got farted on a lot <laughs> by like nose guys, so I guess we we got snorted on. So that's a thing. Take that as as you will, I guess. But yeah, now we're underneath Toad Town, and we just got to the surface of Toad Town, I think. So yeah, pretty normal in terms of Mario RPGs, I'd say. I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe, Marcus. One of these days I'm even gonna become good at video games. Just watch me. Ooh. I don't need room service or anything. Stop ringing the bell. I'll get back. I was about to... Uh oh Stinky bad touch water! Oh, he's coming! He's coming! Oh, swim away! Resident Evil has taught me well. I prepared for this moment. Ha! Can't get in here. Oh! There's probably one up there. Alright. Let's book it! Let's book it! Come on! Go, 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 go! Oh! My foot! He gave me, like, a toenail clip. <sighs> yeah, Whew. okay. This is a good vantage point, though. Let's see, I have one over there in the graveyard, one over there by the crops, and the last one is all the way over there on top of the school. Yeah, I know. I'm just gathering my bearings. Let's go, 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 go! No, Link! What are you doing? He enjoys the thrill of the chase. No. 
no. Dang, I thought I would be able to get to him before he attacked me. Yeah, there was potential, but I'm like Gohan. Wasted potential. <laughs> Yeah, they did, um, they did confirm that Gohan would be the main focus for the next movie. Although, I don't think I'm gonna watch the next movie anytime soon, considering all the horribleness that Toei has been doing, so, so far. I can wait. Or, uh, you know, yo ho ho! Soldier Boy. Didn't he make like one song ever that was a hit and then just kind of fade into obscurity? Yeah, I was about to bring that up. His next big claim to fame was the Soju console, which was like a super cheap Chinese bootleg knockoff Wish console. So way to way to leave a legacy behind you. I mean, apart from what I just said. Not really. So a lot of his songs are like cash grabs then, huh? Just trying to... Leverage the popularity of other things to try and ride a wave. Yeah, cash grabs. Whoa, hello. Uh oh. My cash grab? Or my stream's cash grabs? Oh no, how could this happen? But... Whoop. Yeah, by, by cash grab, I mean... Like... Trying to reference something popular so that it gets more attention. And make money off of it. Referencing? So is it a stale reference? Soja Boy actually invented SRM. Ooh. Don't think too much about it. It was just a uh, a dumb speedrunning joke. Like I said, it was just a dumb speedrunning joke. 
Because in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, there's a technique called stale reference manipulation. That lets you overwrite certain values into another like another spot in memory that it shouldn't be. Two more. And one of them is here. And the other one is up there. Lock the doors. Oh, I see Marcus. Funny. It's the funny guy who made it big somehow one time. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, I'm running out of time. How do we get up there? Thing about rap, so. Oh, there's some vines there. I have to go from there. Okay. I didn't see it. Whoops. Blind. Let me just lure these guys over here. It's fine. They don't have legs. Therefore, I run faster than them by default. I know how to get up there now, so... Yeah, they're cheating. They're using console commands. I've actually known anyone who has owned a physical cheat device, like a Game Shark or a Game Genie. That's fine. There's a thing right here. Oh, 
Oh, really? Neat. What did you actually replay? Like, um, unobtainable Pokemon? Because there was a bunch for for Gen 3 after the whole, like, Gen 2 to Gen 3 functionality thing didn't work. It's boring. Okay. I guess level grinding can be pretty boring, but... The point of the game is to, like, use your Pokemons, right? So... Throne, I guess. <laughs> now, that's actually kind of malicious using aimbot. Because you're using that against other players, that's not like a one player thing. Still, I don't like that. That's like giving yourself an unfair competitive edge. Even if it is PV. Yeah, sorry Marcus. Hollow has faster fingers, I guess. Leave me alone! Oh, you're on mobile. Oops, didn't know. That's not very optimal, Marcus. Why would you be on mobile? That's not the speedrun strat. That's at least five seconds lost. You won't PB. I'm sorry. Nice, Marcus. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Just be born rich. Oof. <laughs> Broke my knees. At least my arms still work. joke about speedrunning life, but there are actually 
people out there who do that in a variety of ways. Like people that are like super young already in college. I've seen a couple of those in my college. Nice. Oh, you ice hollow. That's pretty dark. Yeah, that sucks. That's just really sad. Yeah. Let's see, where could I find a matching stone like this? Probably over there. It'd be really funny if I entered the, uh, the bazaar. And it's just like for sale or something over there. You want this pretty stone? How about 500 rupees? I guess that's a pretty sound reasoning, yeah. Just speed run school, I guess. Public school is kind of be. They do kind of be trash, though. I don't know, man. If you have any younger siblings in in school right now, some of the like teaching techniques and stuff are absolutely baffling. It doesn't make any sense. I felt okay with my time in school. I feel like I learned quite a bit. But I don't know. Whenever I have to help my younger siblings with their homework and stuff nowadays, it's like, what? What are they doing? It's so complicated. Oh, nice, hello. Finally, you don't have to deal with that... that rotten kid. Oh, what if it's in here? Guess not. Hello. Actually, that's not who I want. Never mind. Oh well, at least it's their problem now, not yours. Whoops. Sorry, I forgot about that. Hey, Doug, how's it going? How's your week? A shiny rock for me. Hey. Ah, here we go. You need to find somewhere to insert this stone of trials, you say? That gem. Yes, I do believe I have seen something like that that it might fit into. I just can't recall where. Okay. 
Very cool and helpful. bug the uh one of the saddest types in, in pokemon except if you're fortress because steel steel bug is awesome and caesar caesar is also good steel bug let's go Four times a week to fire, but still. <laughs> Which song are you talking about? Are you talking about the, uh, the pain song? Pain. Pain. There's a thing up there. Go, go, gadget arm. They still show episodes of Inspector Gadget on, uh, what's it called? Like a local station, I think. That doesn't. Go, go, gadget, first degree murder. One of the various licenses I have officially obtained. And also happens to be my favorite. A license to kill. <laughs> no, I don't think they have. Unless you count the uh, the live action movies, in which case, yes, they have. Do 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 do. Inspector Gadget. Do 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 do. Copyright claim. Do 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 do. Bum bum. Man, what have you guys done to me? Now, like, like ever, t ever since you guys showed me the whole like brown bricks thing, now I just can't think of Inspector Gadget and not think of brown bricks. and mine crap. Once you get like banned super fast if you mention brown bricks and in, in uh in Mike's chat.
Uh, I thought I was going to be able to land on top of that, but I guess not. Oh, hey, look at that. That's pretty convenient. There we go. Oh, I didn't know that, Hollow. I only knew that the, uh, the original existed and the live-action movies or whatever. Cool. Just fire a, like a, a cannon over there. Boop. Okay. I <laughs> guess it didn't work. Whoops. Yeah, what if someone was there? Look what look what he did. He he broke it. He broke all of it. What the heck? Yeah, that's fine. They're just anti-gravity devices. You know how ancient technology goes. I guess the goddess is just Sholok. She, she can just see the future. This is like some 5D galaxy brain chess that they were playing. Although, at the same time, he probably could have just flown his bird onto that little platform there. Or like, jumped from the sky and used his sailcloth, so I guess it's not super far-fetched that he wouldn't have like a, uh, you know, a way to get there. Or that he would, right? Seems like a pretty chill place to be. It's fine. You see? There's torches to keep it warm and... Cook some marshmallows. It's gonna be a vacation. Whoa, Zelda 1 dungeon. Everything is square. Cool. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. Okay, but... You stinky. How's that? Oh, 
Oh, the come on, bro. Emote. Come on now. Is that all you think about? Okay, I'll give you that one. You win this round. Next time you won't be so lucky. I don't know what I mean by that, that sounds kind of menacing, but... Whatever, still. That's comedy. That's like hyper comedy. Funniest shit I've ever heard. Yeah, we definitely need to start that Wind Waker Rando. I'm probably gonna be terrible at it. Seeing as I've only played Wind Waker once. But, I still think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, rip. Alright then, I guess I don't have much to worry about. This is taking me way, way longer than I thought it would. I'm winning, I'm doing it.
I think you need to connect all of the things. Bottom, bottom left to the middle right. This. To this. Okay. I'll just forget everything you just said then. Absolutely everything. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to connect everything, but it's just to move around the rooms. Okay. Never mind then. Mushroom room. Yeah, I wish I knew uh known that from the start. A recap of everywhere I've been, huh? Huh. I mean, I've kind of been doing that the whole entire game. Not gonna lie. I've just been returning to areas I've already been to the entire game. The same like three or so areas. Whoa, spider. Take that. I did in fact have an experience. I must contemplate this. Wait, right, get down here. I'm starting to believe it, really. They do reuse a lot of areas. Eagles and stuff really sound like that. I, I I think I remember seeing somewhere that they don't actually sound like that. And that they use some other animal noise and they like speed it up or something to make the like iconic eagle scree or whatever. Oh, spicy! Okay. 
I can do it. Don't worry. Third time's a charm. Never mind. I, th I don't think that's gonna stop. Never mind. It did stop. Take that. Monkey noise. Like lizards. Get out of here. Aha. I know what I have to do. I need to delete them. Oh, it must have been something else then. Maybe it was lines. That, like, lines don't actually have, like, the big ol' roar that they have in, like, movies and stuff, and they use, like, a tiger roar or something instead. For things that don't really sound the way you'd think they sound, I know that cheetahs are one of them. Like, cheetahs chirp, which is pretty cute, but also kind of surprising. They sound like birds. I sound like a bird. Maybe I am a bird. Oops, they're all dead. No, not the cheetah man. With the Cheetah Men on um, that Action 52 cartridge or whatever it was called. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought they were from. Um, let's see. I, I watched, like, a pretty interesting video going, like, breaking down the big cat family and stuff and why some cats are considered big cats and some aren't which the the reason is like if if a big cat can roar oh no i killed it so like if if a big cat can roar then it's considered a big cat but if it can't roar it's not considered a big cat so there's that Nice. That's also a yikes from me, Marcus. No, I, I think that will do you bad, dog. Stay away. They have cooties. That's a really funny word. Scrunchy. Hmm, there's something suspicious about 
the stained eyes. Never mind, it was just a useless passageway. I've been bamboozled. No, I don't know what scene it is, so... Yeah, I... I don't have any input to give here. Scrubby Bingus. Scrongy Bongo. Penis Weenus, of course. Let's see, I need a key. How do I get it though? Guess I'm have to. Go to some other room and get a key. I can say these words. Remember in Resident Evil 1 stream, a couple streams ago, I said ass. I can say ass whenever I want. And peanut. Hey, Zach. How's it going? Nice. That's good to hear. I dug. I hollow. <laughs> My God. Hello, FBI agent. Smile. Don't do that. It's not cool. I've taken fire, I've taken fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little bit more cursed than when I woke up this morning. How dare you. 
You know how much power I have? I'll ban you. Not just from this stream, but from life. No, don't call it hot. It's supposed to be menacing. It's been so long since I've had an airhead. What flavor are you thinking of? Oh, okay. I thought I couldn't throw it. That's a, that's a good point of, uh, like, that's a good advice, you know? I should try doing that next. Whoops! I dropped it! I think I generally enjoy green apple as a flavor. I used to get green apple bubblegum when I was a kid, and we would go to the store. That one in like, um... That one that came in like, uh, the like, the little round container thing, you know? It's like bubble tape. I forget the brand, but we got sour blueberry and sour apple. Dog, next time we hang out, can I try some airheads? You can give me the official ranking. Live, in person. <laughs> That's okay. I'll get some. A one, a two, a three. Crunch. Tootsie Pops are like really good. They're up there for like some of my favorite candy, I would say. Really? I don't think I've ever tried those flavors. Wait, 
but you're ordering them online or something? Or like, you're ordering them like via that like Safeway like pickup thing or whatever curbside pickup. I still think I prefer Tootsie Pop over Blow Pops. It's the personal thing. I think most of the the flavors of Tootsie Pop are good, honestly. I don't think I've tasted one that I don't like. I missed one. That's not that bad. That's 50 pops, though. Feels like it's gonna last you a really long time. I mean, how many Tootsie Pops do you really eat? necessity let's see this is the one I'm in right now Do a thing for Tootsie Pops. We have a history, Tootsie Pops. This is a new Marcus lore.
No, don't do that. Wow, that's even better than in 50. Maths. One to three Tootsie Pops in a day for how many days? Too many per day, ah uh, yes. Test. Yeah, it was lagging for a bit there. Sorry, that was on my end. I'm back. I'm dead. Why do you do these things to me, Marcus? Doubloons are a real thing, right? They were like a real currency that pirates used. It was just like gold coins, right? Doubloons. That's such a fun name. Doubloon. If I ever invent a currency, I wanted to name it something fun. The Bloon. Scringo. Blippus. Scringies. Yes. I love that idea. Scrungos. Fourteen stretches. Scrungu is the dollar. Scringies are the cents. That sounds good. Scringies, not Scringles. Oh, I burned. I'm crispy now. Spablooies. I was about to say, oh, you can just use, like, the standard thousand or, like, ten thousand. But no, because that's based on the base ten system. Uh-oh. 
No, I am not familiar. Sorry. You're going to have to find another source for that information. I definitely can't, so tough luck, I guess, with me. Where did that even come from, anyway? The word based. That's interesting. Yeah. It would be kind of funny to... To, like, go back to, like, I guess, ye old time. Or people who still use old lingo like that. And be like, yeah, I'm pretty based. I'm pretty proud of it. You based, fiend? Yeah. I'm hella based. Is it really not that old? I feel like it's something you would used to eloquently insult somebody. Oop. Oh, you're right. It's a good thing that this thing doesn't break. Ooh, monies. Give me that. That's mine. Don't worry about it. I have enough space. I still think that, like, rupee hard candies would be fun to have. Even if it's just, like, hard candy like Jolly Ranchers. The novelty of, of having it in the shape of a Triforce. Or not Triforce, a rupee. Sounds fun to me. Yeah, there we go. I'm not the only one. Whew. It's close. Remember the uh, the animation where like falling into lava from Twilight Princess? Absolutely brutal. Oh my god. It's definitely a lot more cartoon here, even though this is like a halfway kind of thing between Wind Waker and, and Twilight Princess or whatever. Hey, get out of my way. But yeah, the, the falling into lava animation from Twilight Princess was like... Ouch, I felt that.
Oh no, another trial. Oh, never mind. It's just the Triforce. Whoa, what the heck? Actually, the Triforce. I don't think I've ever seen a 3D Triforce in a 3D Zelda game before. Apart from, like, the cutscene in Ocarina of Time. But you couldn't really touch that. Yay, I got it. Oh wait, never mind. It was in Wind Waker. At least the pieces were. I got a piece of ultimate power. Let me treat it like every other item. Oh yeah, I remember that. Definitely not Triforce. Triforce pieces? I'll get to the, uh... I'll get to Phantom Hourglass when I get to it. Who knows that, how long that's gonna take, but... I'll get there eventually. Kind of, sort of, yes and no. Because Wii U Virtual Console. Yeah. I thought I told you this. Or, uh, I thought you knew this. Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks is on there. That's how I was... Um... That's how I was planning on playing it. And Wild World is also on there, yeah. That's actually how I'm playing, um... What's it called? Explorers of Sky. That's on Wii U Virtual Console. Wow, was the puzzle you guys are talking about really that hard? Oh, okay. It was kind of just a dumb puzzle then. Yeah, one of those.
That's pretty bad, now that you make that comparison. Whoa. Imagine having opinions. You know, I still actually quite like Zelda 2. Is that bad? Actually, no, that's not bad. I like it because I like it. Low battery? Oh no. But like, once you have like a guide, I think Zelda 2 is fine. Some of this stuff is like really stupid obscure. I don't know, I still think it's fun. Wonder Boy. I've heard of it. I think I saw it on the Switch eShop. Don't mind me. Oh, stop following me. It's kind of kind of old then. Fire! Fire! Guess that doesn't work. Oh, I see. There's a thing over here. Boop. Boop, boop. Forgot about that. Gonna be sinking in the sand without the orb. Hmm. 
Ninja Gaiden is also one of those games that has a modern quote unquote iteration, right? I think I remember somewhere there being like a 3D Ninja Gaiden game. I think that's something I'll ever play though. Oh, is it an Xbox exclusive? Was that in the past or is it still an Xbox exclusive? Because if it is, then I hope it's part of the uh, backwards compatibility program that they have for the Series X. Oh man, speaking of, actually, I kind of don't even want to buy a Series X anymore because they, they patched dev mode. Which is like, what the heck man, that's like... That was one of the main reasons for for getting a Series X, and I'm not the only one who thinks that. Because so, um, with, with Dev Mode, what you would be able to do is... Um, install like basically anything you wanted, all your emulators and stuff onto onto the Series X. And that was like a huge selling point. Because, you know, it just made it a really, really good like emulation station or whatever, right? But now you can't. And like to... Um, to get dev mode in the first place, you need to pay like 20 bucks up front, right? So it's like, what's the deal? And now to keep dev mode, you have to release a game like every 90 days or something. Something stupid like that. It's like, who's gonna be releasing a game every 90 days? It's, it's gonna be... Like, it's gonna lead to the um, Xbox store or whatever being filled with shovelware. Genius, I didn't think about that. Just not connecting online. Unless they require you to connect online. What was that a thing for? Was that 360 or or um, Xbox One where you always had to be online and they like redacted it or something? No, I'm out of arrows. Oh, yikes. That stinks. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. That's giving me arrows.
Yeah, I, I see that argument, but I feel like it's kind of the same thing for PS5. Like a big crowd for PS5 is like, you know, I want to play sports and I want to play shoot. That's true, like Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. Sport and shoot. And I'm pretty glad that they that they did that. Honestly, it's more consumer friendly. Some arrows. But what else can they do, really? Took way too long for me to do. But that's nothing new for me. Well, for a second there, I thought that the ball was gone disappeared into the abyss. This orb kind of reminds me of something else, but I can't remember what it was. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking kaleidoscope, but that's something completely different. That's like the binoculars things that you look into and get like funny shapes and stuff. Tesseract? Maybe. If I knew what that was, I'd probably be able to give you a definitive yes or no. Okay then. Too much to ask. <laughs> I 
This segment is going to come to a close pretty soon. I thought we were gonna just be able to nab the Triforce during this stream. I don't know. Two out of three. That's the best we can do. A oh, tree fifty. Best I can do. Cool. Uh oh. Ah, I'm gonna drown in sand. Yeah, it kind of is, honestly. And honestly, uh, I'm pretty burnt out with this game. I kind of want it to end already. And yeah, we're on the same wavelength now. But, that's going to be it for Bruce Skyward Sword for this stream. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chatting. I will be back after a BRB with some Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. So, don't go anywhere. <laughs>